Hi you guys, thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I make my half-calf coffee. So some of you guys know I had a couple of little health issues and so I switched over to half-calf coffee. I was drinking espresso um, before I got sick and just like trying to stay on top of being tired all the time. And then I realized that I just needed to sleep more and maybe have a little bit less caffeine. So I went back to drinking half-calf coffee and it's super easy. Of course, if you want to, you can go to a specialty coffee and actually get half-calf beans. Um, but I actually like this a little bit better. And one of the reasons why is the flavor. So some of you know, if you've ever had decaf coffee before that the flavor is a little bit different. Some people complain that it's a little bit more bitter. Um, I'm not 100% sure why that happens to the beans when they're decaffeinated, but I myself do notice a little bit of a difference as well. So what I like to do is grab either a half a pound or a pound of my favorite coffee at the time. And so some of the coffees that I have to show you guys today is one is a French roast from my local grocery store from my local save a lot and the other one is just the um, I believe it's the house blend let me double check no I'm sorry it's the medium roast it's the Colombian but I like the flavors of those coffees and so I'll get like I said either a half a pound or a whole pound of my regular coffee that I like for auto drip and then I'll get the same size in decaf and I will just mix them half and half. I'll take the grounds and I'll mix them half and half and I'll put them in my little airtight container that I use by my coffee maker, um, those little containers back there in the corner and then it's super easy then every morning I just scoop in my grounds like I normally would to make my coffee and I like the flavor a lot better. So if you guys want to see how I do it, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so let's get started making some half-calf coffee grounds. All you need is your coffees of choice. Here I have some French roast, and I have some 100% Colombian, and I have some decaf. I am going to use a large coffee scoop. It's about the size of two of a regular scoop. And I'm going to put this all in my antique airtight container, but you can use anything you like that seals well. And I have a bowl for mixing. All I'm going to do is scoop evenly half of each of the grounds and mix really well. I like to do five scoops of the decaf and then five scoops of the regular and stir it really, really well. And then I just do that same thing all over again because I feel like it and just make sure everything is mixed really well, you know, since you can't really tell all the coffee grounds look pretty much the same. And then I add it all into my container and just try not to spill all over the place. And I like to pat it down a bit too. So when it gets full like this, I just pat it down and then I can usually fit more grounds in it and really top it off. So I'm going to make a super quick little mixture of this, just half and half mixture of the grounds again, and then really fill up this pot and close it up nice and tight. And since I only make one pot of coffee a day, I use about two big scoops of these coffee grounds. Um, and that will actually last me quite a long time. It lasts me almost a month.
Okay, so that's it. Like I said, it's really easy. All you have to do is mix your grounds half and half, and it really only takes a couple minutes. And this will last me several weeks. This will last me three to four weeks before I have to do it again. So I really don't mind doing it. And I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.